Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about the current operations in MVC. We will create a student class and our student model, then create individual uh, controller and view, and perform all the current operation like create, delete, read, and write uh, over that class in this video series. So click on project and name as MVC uh, CRUD okay MVC and here TEP MVC CRUD and click OK and now we want to create the MVC having empty okay and reference should be empty and MVC uh, let me choose this okay so does not have a content in it okay MVC click OK and it will set up our sample environment under Visual Studio we have a view model and controller having empty folders and now what we need to do we have to create a model first so in this video we will only create a model click here and on class and name this model whatever you want to like uh, I will name it as students okay or student simply student and click add and now uh, we are using the entity framework so that we need to be consider a primary key so there are three methodologies by which you can uh, generate the primary key for the database system when you are working with the entity framework uh, you must consider a class like a database because on the behalf of your model the database table will be created so uh, the first method is that you can use public int id get set so that entity framework understand that only this id will be the primary key or uh, the second way is you can use student and having attribute key and for this you have to add some references uh, which are of system dot component dot model data annotation here is that okay and if I will use this uh, the I am then I am enforcing ASP.NET to consider this student ID as the primary key of this table okay so I'm not going with this approach okay and uh, the third one is to make the property named as more specific okay like this employee ID okay and now uh, we need some other attributes too to be filled in our uh, database such as the name email phone address etc and now I'm going to create that public string having uh, first name create getter setter okay public string last name and create getter setter and create two more fields uh, having email and phone or address okay so we have created our proper class for our model okay and now we will create a separate con db context class for this model okay so what we will do we will right click on our models folder and then 
add context class okay so here add class over here and name it as whatever the class you want to create okay like here you you will observe here is the db context class or whatever the class you want to uh, create even that you can create a simple class and do the work independently like i will here use a class and name it as like uh, i will say student crud context okay so and now what i will do i will use a namespace or library using system dot data dot entity entity okay this and for this okay remove the all unnecessary and uh, we even don't have the entity framework added here so we have to right click here add or oops we go we have to go to the naked package and add entity okay so we need entity entity okay here is the entity framework and we have to add that in our project okay so add this oh, I accept the license and it's added now so uh, after installing this I have to use using system okay dot data dot entity okay so here we have added the uh, dependencies and inherit this from db context db con text and now uh, we will create a db set for our student public db set name it as uh, your student class student and uh, name it as students get set okay so i hope you will found this video tutorial informative in our next video tutorial we will move on and go to in the depth of mvc crude application take care bye bye